Hi there! Are you a VTuber? Do you want to change the color of your model but oh no, your sleeve is on the same layer as your arm? Well, fear not, because I'm here to help you! <laughs> so, you may already know one of the methods there is to switch your model color, which is doing it directly in VTube Studio. Well, there are two problems with that that you might run into and I'm gonna show you what that is real quick. So, if you go into VTube Studio, click on the little cogwheel and go into Customize Model. And you click on this here, Customize, Multiply, Screen Color for Art Meshes. There's just a little, uh, you know, a little important note that you should always make sure that your model artist is okay with you changing the colors because it might be considered rude, but don't worry, if you ask them real nicely, I'm sure they'll say yes. So, in here we can change pretty much any part of the model that we want to change. But, there's a few problems with that. First of all, let's click on my arm. You will see that if I want to change the color of my sleeve, that doesn't really work, because it's on the same layer as the rest of my arm. And I do not want to turn into Shrek. Well, maybe I do. Hold up. It's not exactly a good thing when you want to change it, so uh, there is nothing you can really do in... There's nothing you can really do in VTube Studio to change that. It's, uh, it's just how it works. Everything on the same layer is gonna turn the same color, so... That's one of the bad things about this method. Another one, let's say I want to turn into a beautiful moon princess and I want to have white hair. So, if I want to have white hair and I try to change it in here, it either turns into a undetailed white blob or it looks like I have some kind of white veil over my hair, but my hair isn't actually white. So, you can you see, this method isn't exactly good for that kind of stuff. But fear not, I am here to show you another way. So, what you want to do is going into your VTube Studio folder. If you cannot find it, um, it's pretty easy, you can do that uh, over Steam. Just go to your game, go to, go to VTube Studio, click on the little cogwheel, go to Properties, and then just click on browse in the local file section and uh, it should pop up. Uh, if you have any problems with this, let me know. Uh, but either way, in here you want to click on VTube Studio Data. Then you want to click on Streaming Assets and then Live 2D Models. In there you can see I have a bunch of models in here already. Uh, this one being my normal model file. These two are already recolored ones. And uh, this is very important. So, first off, right click. And then, my Quack. thing is in German, but basically, what you want to do is copy and paste this folder. You do not want to change your main folder unless you want to make lasting changes to your VTuber model because once you recolor it, it's hard to switch back to your original one. So if you want to have, you know, just a different colored version, do this because once you edit it, this is, this is gone, okay? I mean, you can maybe get the model back, but this is just way easier. So if you click on this, and you then click on a folder that would look like this. You get all this stuff, all these parts of your model. So, what you then need to do is open a is open a software like Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop. I'm using Clip Studio Paint, but this should go with pretty much anything, I think. So uh, let me show you what you do in there. Once you're in your editing software, you want to put in all of your files. I only put in one right now so I can show you how it works. But it's pretty much the same for every single thing. So let's say I want to turn my sleeve purple. What I'd want to do is select all the stuff that I want edited. For example, if I want to edit the top part of the sleeve, I'd just do this. If there's anything that isn't selected, you can just uh, go here. To your selection pen. And you know, just kind of edit manually. I'm not making it too pretty right now because I just want to show you kind of how it works. Uh, you go to edit, 
then tonal correction, then we go to hue, saturation, and luminosity. Here you can change what color you want for your sleeve. Let's say I want to go purple. I can change the saturation of it. I can change this here, which I basically never do, but uh, you can do it. It's, it's a thing you can do. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now my sleeve is purple. So what do you do if you want to have something white then? Let's just say I want to turn my cape white. Select it real quick. Then I go to normal correction again. We go again to hue and saturation, luminosity. We turn the saturation down so it's all gray. Then we go to brightness and contrast. And here you can change, like, if you want to have it black, you'd, like, you know, do this. But if I want to have it white, I would turn this up, turn the contrast up so the detail is still there and there's still depth. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much how you do it. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, I recolored my model already. And, uh, yeah, I sure hope you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. You can play around with blending modes of the layers too, or add some gradients and stars. You can do pretty much anything as long as what you add doesn't go over your existing model objects? Parts? Don't draw over the lines. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my tutorial, I hope it's helpful for you and uh, yeah, feel free to stop by my streams if you want to or subscribe to my channel because I do plan on getting more active on here and uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye